Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Peachy. I'm very very happy that you tuned in again to our little episode about our favorite topic on this channel which is hair. Today I want to talk about what you can do to protect your hair when using heated styling tools such as the curling iron or the straightening iron etc etc. Because what a lot of people don't know is that the way in which you use those tools is very important for what degree of damage they have on your hair. So in the following I'm going to show you how to use those heated styling tools to the maximum of their ability while still keeping your hair healthy and protected. Let's do it! My first tip concerns the use of the curling iron. Uh, usually people just take a strand of hair, roll it up and then wait for sometimes 15-20 seconds. They expose the hair to the curling iron for quite a long time. What you can do to really protect your hair in the process is you take a strand of hair, you roll it up as usual. However, you only wait for about five seconds, you take it out and you roll the curl back up whilst it's still hot and adjust it with a little clip. Then you let that little roll cool down until it's not warm anymore. Once it has completely cooled down, you can take the little clip off and you can see that the curl, even though it has been exposed to the heat for a minimum of time, the curl is really quite intense and quite bouncy. My second tip concerns the usage of hair styling products before using heated styling tools such as curling iron and so on. Some people make the mistake of, for example, curling their hair and then in between still going with their hair spray and then continuing with the curling. That is unfortunately not very healthy for your hair and it's gonna dry it out. It is much better to first finish your entire curling straightening activities and then when you're really sure you're done, only then start using products like hairspray and so on or when it comes to heat protector which is of course very important to use as well I would really make sure I use that on the wet hair and then uh, dry it make sure it's completely dry the hair has already absorbed it until I start using my styling tools in my third tip I want to talk about the usage of hair straighteners. What I often see in videos where girls straighten their hair is that they take a small strand and then go over that same strand for a lot of times. A much better way to do this is to take your strand of hair, go over it and then wait until it has cooled down and if you really need to go over it again because it's still too curly, then do that once the hair has cooled down again and not straight away. You gotta bear in mind that these uh, insides of your straightening iron, they get super hot. When you don't give the hair strand a little break where it can cool down, then you expose it to much more heat than is actually necessary or even effective. And heat damages the hair, so we should always try to keep that to a minimum. My fourth tip is only use heated styling tools once your hair is completely dry. I think a lot of you know the situation when we're in a rush and we still had to wash our hair, the hair is wet, but we also want to curl it a little bit with a curling iron for example. So we start prematurely using styling tools and then because the hair is still a little bit damp, we end up leaving the hair in the uh, curling iron for much longer than usual and still it doesn't really work. That is all something that we need to avoid. Unless your hair is entirely dry, there is no use in even trying to use things like curling iron or straightening iron because it simply won't work and it's just gonna tempt you to leave in those things longer or do it more often and that's gonna really damage your hair. If your hair isn't completely dry uh, and you need to go, the only thing you can really do is either leave it open or put it in a messy bun and then open it up at the party or wherever you wanna go and then have that bit of volume or bit of curl. Um, but generally bear in mind that your hair needs to be completely dry in order to style it with heat. My fifth and final tip concerns the handling of your ends when using heated styling tools. Whatever you want to do, whether it's uh, putting your strand in a, in a curling iron or on a straightener, I always would make sure to leave out the ends so that they can really stay nice and healthy. I guarantee you that especially when you have larger curls or messy curls, people won't notice, but it's gonna make a huge difference for the appearance of your hair. It's important to bear in mind that the ends are not only the first place where hair starts to split, but they're also the most vulnerable to heat. So by leaving out the ends, you can really make sure that your hair overall is gonna look 
more healthy for a longer period of time because the ends are quite important for the overall look of your hair. And that, my lovelies, concludes my video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really hope you found this video useful. If you did, of course, I'd be very happy about a thumbs up. Otherwise, please let me know in the comment section what your take is on all of this. Do you use heated styling tools like curling iron or do you just use heatless styling tools? What do you prefer? I'm really interested. Um, and otherwise, I'm going to wish you the most wonderful day and we're going to see each other very soon. Bye bye.